What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite cichlids on the planet and it is known as the Severum. There's different species like the green Severum, the gold Severum, the red shoulder Severum, etc. These fish uh, are exploding with color and I don't know why they're not more popular because uh, it essentially looks like uh, a discus fish but it doesn't have the crazy water parameters that discus fish need. Uh, these fish are super simple to take care of and uh, they're super vibrant in colors, they're hardy. I, I, I'm actually blown away by the fact that they're not more popular. Um, I'll show you guys some uh, se bigger severums here in different tanks, but uh, this is kind of just a tank that's right next to me here. There's some juvenile severums in here. These gold severums are really popular. Um, and then the green severums, uh, when they're smaller like this, they don't have as vibrant of color. And the red shoulders are really just spectacular coloration. And what's cool with these fish is, uh, uh, well, I'll just get into taking care of them. They're super simple to take care of. Um, they're South American cichlids. They're super hardy. Um, they're gonna, they're, they're well-mannered. And uh, so let's start with tank size. I would say uh, these fish actually grow pretty large, which makes them more awesome. I would say a minimum of 55 gallons. And um, uh, I'm dying to show you guys the other, the other Severums too. So 55 gallon tank, um, the water parameters are, I mean, these fish are hardy and uh, I would very much compare them to a blood parrot because they're just, they have that same mentality as uh, go, 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 feed, 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 uh, chase, chase, chase. This is the generic cichlid. They're hardy, and especially when they get bigger, and they're even easy, easy to breed, which uh, is awesome. So, oh, and if you're wondering, uh, I this is a video series devoted to Severum cichlids, and I have other videos in this playlist on how to breed them, uh, a different species, uh, laying when they lay eggs, what you should do, etc. So if you want to check that out, um, do that. I'll I'll also give some guidance in the description box of the video. <clears throat> um, I want to flip the camera now and show you guys some killer uh, larger severums. And uh, but first, let's go over this the generic parameters. Uh, 55 gallon minimum these fish can grow up to like 10 inches large and uh, Tank mates you're gonna want like anything South American kind of middle of the road aggression levels I have them with electric blue cars in here um, Jack Dempsey's there's some electric blue Jack Dempsey's in here smaller ones uh, other um, I'm trying to think of what ugh, I'm drawing a blank here um, blood parrots convict cichlids, fire mouse, jewel cichlids, just anything middle of the road, South American, um, uh, green terrors. Just, just keep an eye on the fish because sometimes, you know, all fish have their own personality and you just cannot say like, oh, this is going to work out because some fish are just crazy. And um, it all depends the parameters and the relationships, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, Tank size, tank mates, water temp. These are tropical fish from uh, South America, 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're trying to breed them, bump that up to like 81. Um, super easy to breed. As far as feeding, they're omnivores like most cichlids. Um, I really love, um, there's a seller on Amazon. I know I'm preaching this again, guys. Uh, seller on Amazon that freeze that sells these freeze-dried brine shrimp cubes and these things absolutely adore it I'm gonna show you feeding these They come in cubes super easy um, Let's throw these in the tank here You can tell my fish love to eat open this tank here Ah, They're scared that was a little loud Come on guys Come on. Come on. I got some food This is mildly embarrassing that they're not just ravenous. Anyways, tr trust me on this one. They are ravenous when it comes to this brine shrimp. And brine shrimp is full of protein. Your fish are gonna grow like crazy. Um, 
Come on, guys. All right, now you're just making a fool of me. All right, let's flip the camera. I want to show you guys some other, um, some other Severums, larger ones, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how awesome these fish can look. And I'll uh, throw in some footage. Now they're coming out. Come on, guys. Food's at the top. Food's at the top. <clears throat> super easy to care for. I know I'm all over the place with this. I'm super pumped up because I love Severums. And uh, if I could choose to keep a huge like a huge community tank in my living room it would just be full of severums and just south americans jack dempsey uh i'd throw electric blue in there jack dempsey some severums um maybe a blood parrot etc so let's flip the cam take a closer look all right so here's a large gold severum i'm guessing this is a male just by the thickness of the body and kind of the coloration on the uh, front of the mouth there. I would say he's eight or nine inches and um, you'll notice that when these severums get a little bigger they start to show a little of aggression and um, just because they're looking to breed like non-stop because they're adults essentially so um, and when they get bigger you're gonna find that feeding them just takes more work. All right just to prove to you guys how much these fish love the food Here's a feeding video of them finally finding the cubes. They were just freaked out. It was a bad scenario. I scared them with the lid. Uh, I'm actually pretty surprised I scared them because these fish are like relentless and just not afraid of anything when it comes to feeding, which is pretty awesome about these fish. So, all right, let's jump to some other cool vids. <laughs> 